ultra high quality dome security camera, 4K, 8 megapixel, indoor, outdoor, IP66, water enclosure, and 3.6 millimeter wide angle lens. H.265 compression and power over the internet, PoE, plug and play with power and VR. So now I'm going to show you the details, how the camera works and how we're going to configure this for the first time. Now we can see the camera as well, so it's perfect for outdoor, it's no rain or you can be used indoor. If we're looking right in the back, very important is information that we're going to need later on. Model number, we see IP address DHCP, means it's a dynamic IP address. Username, admin, password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, show you the instructions. But if you wonder how we're gonna do that, how we're gonna figure out the address, I'm gonna give you a little secret how we're gonna do that. We're gonna download a software available on the website to search for the camera. Now the camera is powered over the internet, it means it is, it's gonna be powered through either Archer 45 or 12 volts. So if you're gonna power through a J45, it requires either through a DVR or a special rider they will send 12 volts to here. So now if I plug my J45, mine is not powered over the internet. So there is no light coming in here, that means there's no power. If you, if you have the right cable and the right switch, this will light up, means you send power to the camera. But we're gonna supply 12 volt power supply, not supply with this camera, you have to buy that from the manufacturer. We plug it in, and automatically we see the light blinking. Now, we are connected to the camera. Now, what we get with the camera, simple, we get the sticker, and it shows you exactly what you need to make the hole, so no guessing installing it. Comes with the screws, comes with the seal, with that 45 cable, so no water will go in the connection. A full configuration manual, we're going to do that in a second, show you how to do that, all the tips. A window CD, a product car care with more information, and a quick installation and how to configure the DVR. So now, we need to install the memory. So the Allen key is supplied with the, with the camera, so we need to remove the three screws. All right, so now we're gonna open the camera. It has a safety wire, so this will not go anywhere in case you, you put this already in the ceiling or anywhere in the wall. Now we can see right over here, we have the micro SD card. So go ahead and install the memory there. It will config that from the main uh, software. And then if you wanna tell this, simple. There is actually two screws, but I'm gonna lose only one. It seems one is enough. Lose the one on this side, and now we can move the SD camera and we can tilt it. By the way, that's all the night vision. And as you see, when you plug it, there's no light indicated. And maybe that's what you want. You don't want people to figure out the camera is on or not. So people can see it and they don't know. Maybe they think it's off because there's no indicating light. So we set this, so we're gonna set it there. We tie this, not too crazy. That's it, do not remove this, all right? And that's it, we close it and we get this camera back back into water tight. All right, so now let's move to the configuration. So we are ready. So the first thing we need to do is download the search tool that's available on the website. And now I will allow you to find simple and easy the camera. So when you download and install it, we click. And right away it should show up. You can still search for it, but as you see there, it shows up. The camera, what is nice, allow me to if I have multiple cameras, it will automatically detect all the camera, refresh it one again. If we can see the Piracha 192, 168, that one, that 151, at least that one my name will set up the camera app. See so here we can we can rename the camera, we can reboot the camera, we can up upgrade the firmware, we can change password, we can change IP, we can do a lot of things from, from this side, and you can do multiple cameras all in all in once. And we have the full information and we can change the password to the information. We right click on it and we're going to open our, our windows and show you the live camera. 
So let's go ahead and open that in a second. And we can see right over there, the camera is working. This is a way to test it. Right, it looks real nice. Um, but there's not a lot of control here. We got to start the configuration. So we see right there, it's working fine. My camera is working. I need to configure it. the time and everything. We need to fix that. So at that point, load up your, your um, preferred browser, either Unix, Linux, or Windows. And that's what we see. We're going to be typing the IP address. Remember the IP address was 151. So we type the IP address around the top and then username with admin and password with one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if we change it uh, on the main software, like the first configuration I show you, we can change the password there or we can do it from here. So we log in and we see the first screen, real nice time, day information. Now, right in this uh, side, those uh, will not work, at least not for this camera, but those are to move the camera. This is a uh, camera will not move, right? So we don't need to worry about that. We can see the alarm, we can see the configuration and preview and the alarm is on because it's showing, it's showing a, a movement, right? It detects something, so it showed me an alarm. We can configure all that. So let's click configuration. And right away, we can see, we can change the brightness, we can change the contrast, saturation, we can change all those things, but we need to fix that. So we're gonna fix that right now. So we need to do a, a horizontal flip. Now one more flip and that's it, that's done. So at this point, maybe you need to do that. Depends where you put the camera. For my case, that's the only thing. There's not many things to, you need to change here. Again, the camera works as with the out of the pack. You can fix, put, put the new password and it's done. Save it and that is being updated. Again, we can change the time. We can, you can see here, we can change the resolution. We can change the frame rate. There is a lot of configuration we can do. Right now, we see it's in the 4K. So we can do all that configuration. And again, we see that and we can change beyond that point. You can uh, do a lot, of, a lot of configuration on this camera. But we leave the everything, the everything as default. Again, you can change the text. So if you have camera one pointed back the store from the store, Canon one, Canon two, you can do all those things in the camera. Something like network, we can change IP address with the side as dynamic IP. But if we want, we can set up in a static IP. You can do that too. Even I use uh, my DNS server, I use a uh, Google DNS, but you can sit in uh, a static IP and change that. Now, uh, different ports. Now you can log in to uh, scanning by the phone. And as you see here, we can, you can even do a little test and make sure the camera works fine. We're gonna click right now and see and everything should pass. See, everything works perfect. The PTC, we're not gonna do that, not, at least not for this particular camera. All right. We can also go into the vents and we can see the vent right and we at that point now in the advance we can set up the storage and we can set up the storage to record the whole entire day record during the night record during the day they has all, all these things you can do right on the storage of the camera and i remember the storage it will automatically erase i think it's full it's what they call the loop format so eventually when the card is full it will delete the uh, older uh, file okay? and you can set this and now remember we can set two streams you can set one is it one during the day and we can set sub stream is it maybe a night that, that's a different configuration now yeah? so and, and it's pretty simple because technically I can fix this real time as recording this video I've been doing all the changes but soon you plug it in it works now sure if you got a, a DVR, if you got the system that made to record the camera, there is you don't need to do anything because all being configured from the main unit. So with this, we complete the tutorial. It was pretty simple to install and config the camera for the first time. Thank you.